The United States of America was populated by millions of immigrants worldwide. Many immigrants came from European countries, including the republics of Poland. Polish immigrants have immigrated to America since the beginning of its history. The first appearance of Poles dated back as early as 1608. Poles were hired by the London Company to bring industrial skills to Jamestown to help establish the town. Poles would embark in Jamestown with intentions to prosper in the carpentry business and to establish a better life. Although Poles were part of the working community, they did not have all the rights that the original settlers did. For example, Poles did not have the right to vote. On July 21st, 1619, the Legislative Assembly of Jamestown granted Poles the right to vote, therefore making them the first group to successfully challenge civil rights. Polish immigration to the United States increased in the 1770s and after the American Revolution. They ventured to America in advocacy of self-government. The first wave of Poles majorly consisted of poor nobles who fled Poland due to political issues. During the second wave of immigration, groups of Polish farmers fled to the United States in search of better economic opportunities. Other Poles came to America, Zachleblem, or, in English, for bread. In layman's terms, this meant they immigrated in search of money. Over 95% of the travelers were processed at Ellis Island, while others were processed at Castle Garden, in what is now called Battery Park. So how many immigrants actually migrated to America? Between the years of 1820 through 1996, about 743,376 Poles fled their homeland for various reasons. Thousands of Poles left their new country in search of better opportunities for them and their families. Everyone came for a different reason. However, there were correlations between incentives. Many Poles fled in fear of conscription, which is the term for being forced to serve in the military. Others seek better economic opportunities, such as new jobs or financial gains. Many Poles disagreed with religion of Catholicism, so they fled for religious freedom. One of the biggest reasons for fleeing their homeland was for search of land. Many Poles were losing their properties at this time, and they did not feel safe in their country. Finally, many left to have a fresh start and a new life. So what was it like for Polish immigrants? They experienced a relatively more convenient time. Many were inspected for mental diseases rather than physical diseases. Probable mental illness victims were labeled with a chalk letter. Only 2% of immigrants were sent back home. This means they were denied entrance at Ellis Island. Very few of these Polish people were literate in English. This accounted for their inferior or subordinate reputation. Poles ach achieved tangible success through the arts. This included painting, music, and performance. Famous people included Tadeusz Audekiewicz, Kazimierz Almihowicz, and Zygmunt Audekiewicz. These were all highly regarded Polish artists. Labor was less of an issue than a societal prejudice. Many were subject to the farm people stereotype. Many were labeled to have undesirable personalities, and many Poles were also viewed negatively due to their religious beliefs. Many believed in Catholicism, and other religions which were not common to American people at the time. Many Poles were stereotyped as drunks when in reality they were very hardworking and willing to do anything for money. To compare the magnitude of Polish emigration to the United States, 
Let's take a look at the comparative statistics. Polish immigration to the United States totaled at about 743,376 people. Compare that to Norway and Greece, which totaled to about 756,000 and 704,000. And compared to Portugal, who had a total of about 518,000 people.